सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन इन टूडेज क्लास वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द पी आई बी न्यूज फ्रॉम इलेवन टू थर्टींथ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑल राइट सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज अबाउट मिशन अंत्योदय सर्वे राइट सो मिशन अंत्योदय सर्वे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी were launched recently by the ministry of rural development so you have to identify the incorrect statement about the survey of this financial year that is financial year 2023 right so let's talk about this and then we will come back to the question remember ministry of rural development right it is the ministry of rural development do remember the name of the ministry the ministry of rural development has launched the mission antyoday survey for this financial year and its portal and mobile app were also launched during the event right now talking about this survey so this year the survey will be conducted for a period of 1 month right the survey will be conducted for a period of 1 month pure ek mahina chalega and a mobile app has been launched right a mobile app has been launched to make the to, to make the survey efficient right and this mobile app has been uh, launched has been developed in collaboration with national informatics center department of rural development right and it has geo tag feature for 36 different types of asset in assets in villages 36 alag alag tarike ke assets honge unko ye geo tag kar payega ye wala mobile app all right now talking about this survey uh, uh, overall so ye survey karta kya hai basically so it provides support to the process of participatory planning for gram panchayat development plan so there is a gram panchayat development plan for all the panchayats right now this survey provides supports in the planning for these gram panchayat development plans all right now how it provides support we will discuss it later now this survey presents secondary data to carry out the gap analysis whatever is the gap between the <coughs> actual scenario and the plan which plan gram panchayat development plan jo bhi actual scenario hai in the village and jo bhi plan kiya gaya hai usme agar koi gap reh jata hai to that gap is being filled through this survey right its data also serve as a key input in the preparation of block and district plans theek hai now talking more about it so remember the very first mission antyodaya survey was launched for the financial year 2018 and <coughs> nodal survey agency is pretty much clear till now department of rural development under the ministry of rural development it is conducted across all the gram panchayats across the country and parameters ki agar hum baat kare so it collects village level data on 183 indicators so how many indicators are there 183 indicators under 216 data points of 21 sectors so 183 indicators 216 data points in 21 sectors right now how it provides support to the gram panchayat development uh, plan that is the question so it collects data regarding uh, in these five areas panchayat infrastructure panchayat service village infrastructure village service and village practices and the data regarding this is provided to the uh, panchayats and with the help of this data they prepare the gram panchayat development plan theek hai and 13 regional languages mein iska jo questionnaire hai wo available hota hai the questionnaire of this survey is available in 13 regional languages theek hai so that is all about this mission antyoday survey and now let's come back to the question you have to identify incorrect statement it is being conducted by uh, department of rural development across all gram panchayats in the country since 2017 18 this is absolutely correct there is no problem it provides primary data to carry out gap analysis for gram panchayat development plan it provides data but not the primary data the primary data is you know uh, is collected through the gram panchayat development plan only it provides secondary data so this statement is incorrect option b option b will be the correct answer guys to this question i hope this is clear moving ahead to question number 2 which public campaign has been launched by coordinations and as we all know the coordinations consist of uh, india japan australia and usa to improve cyber security of internet users from across indo pacific and beyond so you just have to name the campaign which has been launched by coordinations and the name of the campaign is quad cyber challenge right what is the name of the campaign Quad Cyber Challenge has been launched, and of course, the objective of this challenge is to improve the cyber security across the Quad Nation. The Quad Nation, hey, where cyber security is improved, is the objective 
of this challenge now remember this challenge is inviting internet users from across indo pacific and beyond not only indo pacific uh, it is focused on it is focused beyond indo pacific also right so it has invited internet users from uh, from you know across indo pacific and beyond to join it and to pledge it to practice safe and responsible cyber habits right it will provide resources such as basic cyber security information will be provided basic cyber security module will be provided to those internet users which will participate or which has participated in the in this challenge all right and in india this challenge is being coordinated by the office of national cyber security coordinator with national security council okay i hope this is clear so what is the name of this challenge it is quad cyber challenge option c is the correct answer question number 3 pe aa jate hain isi baat pe so 25 addiction treatment facilities were recently launched under nasha mukt bharat abhiyan so i hope you all are aware of this nasha mukt bharat abhiyan which is being implemented by ministry of social justice and empowerment so which of the following are incorrect statement about nasha mukt bharat abhiyan that is the question so let's talk about the news the news is this only it is in news because 25 addiction free addiction treatment facilities have been uh, launched by the ministry of social justice and empowerment under nasha mukt bharat abhiyan right so nasha mukt bharat abhiyan ke bare mein baat kare so objective its objective is to create awareness about the ill effects of substance abuse among the youth right it is being implemented by ministry of social justice and empowerment since the year 2020 2020 se implementation mein hai initially the coverage was given to 272 districts which were identified as most vulnerable in the terms of drug usage but currently it is being implemented in 372 districts theek hai initially 272 but currently it is being implemented in 372 districts all right now it follows three pronged approach number one <coughs> supply curb by ncb narcotics control bureau <laughs> to keep a check on the supply right number two outreach and awareness and demand reduction effort by ministry of social justice and empowerment and finally empowerment and treatment through the health department through the ministry of health and family welfare because not only awareness is required अगर कोई एडिक्टेड हो गया है तो उसका ट्रीटमेंट भी जरूरी है और उसका एम्पावरमेंट भी जरूरी है इफ समन इज एडिक्टेड टू एनी काइंड ऑफ ड्रग देन ट्रीटमेंट इज आल्सो रिक्वायर्ड ठीक है सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट नशा मुक्त भारत एंड नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अगेन इट वॉज लॉन्च इन ट्वेंटी नो पहला स्टेटमेंट एब्सोलूटली करेक्ट इट वॉज लॉन्च एब्सोलूटली इन करेक्ट टू में लॉन्च ट्वेंटी में लॉन्च हुआ था ये Ministry of Health and Family Welfare is the nodal implementing ministry. No, that is the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, which is the implementing ministry. It was launched in 272 districts, which were identified as most vulnerable. Absolutely correct. It is its three pronged approach includes supply curb, outreach and awareness, and demand reduction and empowerment and treatment. Yes. So three and four are correct. However, one and two are incorrect. Which should be the correct option? Option A. One and two only will be the correct answer because we have to identify the incorrect statement. And I bar bar say that please focus on this word whether you have to identify the correct statement or the incorrect statement. Because if you have a look at the options, so in the options the correct one, all options are also available. Three and four be available, one and two be available. So now, quickly, 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 mark three and four. Mark and don't do such So please don't do such mistakes. Question number four. Which of the following are not the components of control of pollution scheme, which is a central sector scheme being implemented by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change? It was launched in two thousand and eighteen, right? So you have to just tell which of the following are not the components. Now this is not a newly launched scheme because it is already mentioned in the question that it was launched in two thousand and eighteen. It is in news because a parliamentary reply was submitted regarding this particular scheme. ठीक है तो ये क्या है इसके बारे में जल्दी से discuss कर लेते हैं. There is, uh, you know, zada detail is scheme ke baare mein nahi chahiye. The objective, as the name says, control of pollution. The objective is to control the pollution. That is it. So to monitor air quality across the country and take appropriate air pollution mitigation measures and to take appropriate action to control the air pollution in the country. Now remember, it is about 
एयर पोल्यूशन वॉटर क्वालिटी एंड नॉइज लेवल तीनों के लिए है ये राइट इट वॉज लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड एंड एटीन एज अंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज and there are four components of this particular scheme number 1 assistance for abatement of pollution to cpcb central pollution control board and weaker state pollution control board jo ki aise state pollution control board which are not much efficient so uh, this scheme provides assistance to those uh, spcbs as well national clean air program is the second component the third component is environmental monitoring network program and the fourth is research and outreach program because without research it is not possible to control the air pollution right we have to do the research now that how we can control the air pollution so research is also one of the component of this particular scheme so now let's come back to the question so which of the following is not a component you have to identify that national clean air program is one of the component environmental monitoring network program is there research and outreach programs of course it is also there Assistance for abatement of pollution to Central Pollution Control Board and weaker SPCBs, right? So I think all are the components, and we have to identify which of the following are not. Which means option E, none of the above will be the correct answer. Let's move ahead to question number five then. <clears throat> which ministry is organizing the digital payments itself with an aim to promote digital payments and digital? drive digital transformation in india so it is the ministry of electronics and it which is organizing the digital payments utsav with an objective to promote digital payments in the, in the country and the basic objective the basic idea behind this utsav is to bring all the stakeholders at a platform to discuss how we can make the digital ecosystem the digital payment ecosystem more efficient right its focus will be in the cities of lucknow pune hyderabad and bangalore as part of india's g20 presidency because most of the meetings under india's g20 presidency will take place in these four cities only lucknow pune hyderabad and bangalore all right now remember these are some of the initiatives which were launched during the digital payment initiative a g20 co branded qr code where there is a picture of g20 india's g20 presidency that logo then g20 edition of preloaded rupee on the go device on the go device is nothing but tap and pay contactless payment ke liye ek device hota hai rupee ka innovative products from bank and fintechs were launched joint campaign by ministry of electronics and it and delhi police was launched to promote secure digital payments to remove the cyber frauds in the digital payment ecosystem and coffee table book titled towards a developed india catalyzing inclusive growth through digital payments so these are some of the initiatives that were launched and there was one yatra which was also flagged off digital sandesh digital payment sandesh yatra right digital payment sandesh yatra was flagged off during the event and this yatra will help in creating awareness among the citizens about the digital payments right because dekho abhi hum kitne bhi digitalized ho gaye ho but Still, there is a gap because in the rural areas, in the remote areas, in the in the areas where people uh, do not have the access to basic financial services, there is still a need of creating awareness about the digital payments, right? So this digital payment Sandesh Yatra will do the same things, and also digital Digi Dhan Awards, right? Digi Dhan Awards were given to twenty eight top performing banks. Uh, top performing banks bankers financial institutions and other fintech companies in different categories for their uh, outstanding performance in the digital payment ecosystem right and of course you don't have to remember the names of all the 28 winners that is not at all required for the examination okay so that is all about digital payments with sir and now which ministry is this that's ministry of electronics and information technology headed by ashwini vaishnav is the correct answer option b let's move ahead to question number 6 <clears throat> what is the rank of india's uh, national accreditation system under quality council of india in the world in the recently released global quality infrastructure index of 2021 so this is the 2021 edition global quality infrastructure index and it has been launched by a german company the name is not required for the deep sanam hai so uh, you can ignore that so इंडिया की जो पोजीशन है केवल उसी के बारे में बात करेंगे हम ओवरऑल 
दिस इंडेक्स इज नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट कि आपको सारी डिटेल में जाना पड़े दैट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड सो रिमेंबर इंडिया नेशनल एक्रेडिटेशन सिस्टम अंडर क्वालिटी काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया राइट हैज बीन रैंक एट फिफ्थ पोजिशन इन द वर्ल्ड इन द रिसेंटली रिलीज ग्लोबल क्वालिटी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंडेक्स राइट सो एक्रेडिटेशन सिस्टम अंडर क्यूसीआई क्वालिटी काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया हैज बीन रैंक एट फिफ्थ पोजिशन इन इंडिया इफ आई टॉक अबाउट इंडिया ओवरऑल क्यू आई सिस्टम ओवरऑल क्वालिटी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सिस्टम देन इट इज एट टेंथ पोजिशन इन द वर्ल्ड इट्स स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन सिस्टम अंडर बी आई एस ब्यूरो ऑफ इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड जो इसका स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन सिस्टम है दैट हैज बीन रैंक एट नाइन्थ पोजिशन एंड द मेट्रोलॉजी सिस्टम अंडर एनपीएल सी एस आई आर वट इज एनपीएल नेशनल फिजिकल लेबोरेटरी दैट इज दैट हैज बीन रैंक एट ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट पोजिशन सो दीज आर डिफरेंट रैंकिंग नंबर वन लेट मी रिपीट दिस नेशनल एक्रेडिटेशन सिस्टम अंडर क्यू सी आई रैंक एट फिफ्थ राइट ओवरऑल क्यू आई सिस्टम रैंकिंग में बात करें तो इंडिया इज एट टेंथ पोजिशन स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन सिस्टम अंडर बी आई एस रैंक एट नाइन्थ पोजिशन एंड मेट्रोलॉजी सिस्टम अंडर एनपीएल सी एस आई आर एनपीएल इज नेशनल फिजिकल लेबोरेटरी ऑफ सी एस आई आर it has been ranked at 21st position right and remember geographically top 25 qi systems are from uh, europe north america and asia pacific however there are certain exceptions like india india is at 10th position okay so that is all about this news and now let's come back to the question so what is india's rank so india's rank is fifth option a is the correct answer guys to this question एंड यहाँ पे मैंने इन नेशनल एक्रेडिटेशन सिस्टम जो है इंडिया का उसके बारे में थोड़ा सा लिख दिया है तो यू गाइस कैन हैव अ क्विक रीड फ्रॉम द पीडीएफ एंड नाउ लेट्स कम टू द क्वेश्चंस इन शॉर्ट व्हिच डू नॉट नीड मच एक्सप्लेनेशन बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू वांट टू हैव द पीडीएफ ऑफ दिस सेशन यू कैन ज्वाइन द टेलीग्राम चैनल दिस टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ठीक है सो क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन पे आ जाते हैं इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ड्यूरिंग ट्वेंटी इंडिया कॉफी एक्सपोर्ट्स टू डैट अराउंड वन बिलियन डॉलर्स ग्रोइंग बाई थर्टी एट परसेंट फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस ईयर प्रीवियस ईयर का मतलब यहाँ पे इंडिया वॉज दी डैश लार्जेस्ट एक्सपोर्टर ऑफ कॉफी इन दर्ल्ड विद शेयर ऑफ अबाउट हाउ मच परसेंट ऑफ ग्लोबल कॉफी एक्सपोर्ट इन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू दो हजार इक्कीस बाईस में इंडिया कौन से नंबर का एक्सपोर्टर था एंड कितना शेयर था उसका ग्लोबल कॉफी एक्सपोर्ट में सो इंडिया वॉज एट फिफ्थ पोजिशन इंडिया वॉज एट फिफ्थ पोजिशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू the exporter of coffee coffee and the share of india's coffee export was about 6% of global coffee export in the previous financial year that is financial year 2022 theek okay? hai so option c is the correct answer question number 8 which security force has conducted a month long nation wide drive uh, under operation narcos and operation ahat this i have discussed uh, a number of times Operation Narcos and Operation Ahat are being implemented by <coughs> Railway Protection Force (RPF). Option A is the correct answer. Question number nine: Ministry of Railways has taken up construction of two DFC, which are dedicated freight corridors. One is the eastern dedicated freight corridors, and another is the western. Eastern one runs from Ludhiana to Sonnagar, right? And western one runs from JNPT to Dadri, right? So length, I have asked you. The eastern DFC has the length of 337 kilometers, while the western DFC has the length of 1506 kilometers. So option E is the correct answer. <clears throat> Question number ten: As part of Mission Life Awareness Program, which organization under Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has organized online Green Talk series, which is Gyan Vigyan or Ham, right? Knowledge, Science, and We. or you can say us to create awareness on important issues related to the environment so gyan vigyan or hum this series has been conducted by an organization which works under the ministry of environment forest and climate change and that organization is national museum of natural history option d is the correct answer which ministry will be organizing workshop on good governance for district collectors and project officers of scheduled areas so when we are talking about scheduled areas the answer should be the ministry of tribal affairs headed by arjun munda and yes that is the correct answer option d is the correct answer question number 12 where has president draupadi murmu inaugurated national convention of uh, convention on 
women as foundation of value based society and launched all india awareness campaign empowering the family so all india campaign empowering the family has been launched by president sahab uh, in gurugram option c gurugram is the correct answer and of course gurugram is in haryana and uh, that is the headquarter of isa and the last question for today very important question where is the world's first thorium based nuclear plant bhavni using uranium 233 being set up kahan pe ye set up ho raha hai so it is being set up in tamil nadu in kalpakkam power plant option a is the correct answer and there is already a thorium based uh, experimental thorium based power plant here at kalpakkam that is known as what kamini kamini was the experimental uh, thorium based plant however bhavani is the full fledged thorium based plant which is being uh, constructed which is being set up in kalpakkam nuclear power uh, power plant in tamil nadu theek okay? hai all right so that is all for today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and i will see you in the next session on friday goodbye take care and god bless